King's Indian Defense, Fianchetto, Benjamin Defense. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. D6 defends the E5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Nf3 advances the knight, aids d4, and stops black from moving on e5. The dark squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is the final book action. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This lets the opponent capture a pawn to win material. This threatens to kick a knight. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This seizes a helpless pawn. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is quite good. The pawn is now suitably protected. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. Capturing that pawn wins material. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. This strikes a rival knight. It is quite good. This misses a chance to threaten a queen and gain a tempo. It is incorrect. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. That's good. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. That's good. This shields the knight who was attacked. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This misses the chance to offer an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is quite good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. Very precise. It is best. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. As a result, the opponent's pawn structure is weakened because they are forced to double their pawns. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Now the bishop is suitably protected. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This pins the opposing side's bishop to the king, rendering it immobile. 
it is ideal. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is ideal. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is excellent. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 